Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome back for another day of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. We are in day 11. I've got some great photos of my son being super brave at the dentist. Um, and we're going to play with some Vicky Putin. I have a little bit of Let's Wander and a little bit of Wildflowers and Honey left, I think. And then I have this one random picture page from Kaleidoscope. I just have some random Vicky Putin, and I don't have a ton left. So I think we're just going to dig into all of it. Um, but if I have to use this again, it'll count as a separate one because there's more than one collection here. I'm just saying that now, just in case, just in case <laughs> so far, so good. We're doing good. We're doing a different collection every day. So we're, we're doing good, but yeah, we're going to do this. Um, I just thought the colors and stuff would work really well. That's the only reason I picked it. I may change my mind. I'm kind of hesitant about this one. I'm not so sure. So I may change my mind. We will see. But right now the plan is to do Vicky Booten with these two pictures. So let's see what I can come up with and let's get started. And I went with Vicky Booten. I decided to go for it. So I'm trimming down, uh, the one photo, the, um, farther away shot to the square photo and then my bigger one um, just a little bit. I'm going to mat them both on black because a lot of the Vin Vicky Booten really pops with black. So I'm matting them on black and I kind of toyed with how I was going to do this layout quite a bit, like what papers to use and how I wanted to set it up. And you'll kind of see me fiddle around with if I want to change the orientation a little bit, if I wanted to move it not centered. But ultimately, I come back to putting it in the center and doing a little mixed media to help like ground it and put it, keep it um, in the center and then just to bring it some interest. So at first, I was really thinking I was going to use one of the mixed media um, papers because I had three left and I'm determined to get them used. I love them so much. Not that I want to like use them up, but I love them so much and I want to use them. Um, so at first I grab this bubble one and I start, um, I'm going to use this orange strip cause it's already a strip and it's already almost as long as I need it. It's almost a little too long. I end up trimming it too short and then having just layered it, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then this blue and the, like the water spot po um, paper is like the same size as I want, like the square layer. And so now I'm just kind of looking, trying to figure out if there's any other background I would want to use or any other paper actually I'd want to use, um, as the bigger layer kind of in the back. And I have a lot of washi tape that um, comes with this Vicky Booten. So I do plan on using um, some of the washi tape because I wanted to kind of just dig into it a little bit. So here I picked out this mixed media background, the circle one. And I'm starting to layer everything up and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what do I want to use for my layers? And I'm going to get the photos kind of glued together and get all that figured out because I, I first... I was sitting there toying with it and I realized, okay, I'm not going to really know what I want to do until I have like this center layered goodness all set and figured out. And then I will figure out what I want to do for a background. So it's like, let's just get this figured out what layers of what papers I want. Um, and then we'll figure out the background, which is kind of backwards thinking. Um, a lot of times you figure out your background and build up, but sometimes it, it makes sense to me to build it this way, depending on what you have, especially if you're limited, if that makes sense. Um, and I wanted to stick with using this because the whole point of me doing a lot of these is so I use what these collections are. Um, pretty soon I will be able to start breaking them up more, I feel like, and using, and I can't wait, I think I said this in one of my other layouts, I can't wait to start building kits from leftovers from um, layout or from collections. And this might be one of the collections where I have a, a few 12 by 12 less left because it's one of the few collections lately that I've, um, more in the more recent past that I bought a paper pad. So you have get more paper in general. So Vicky Booten and Chamel, um, I probably will have a lot more papers left over to build some like stash kits. So I'm excited for that to happen. Um, and I have some fun things coming up with product focus Friday too. Um, for April and May to help kind of get rid of a lot of older stuff, if you will. Um, but anyway, this is still 30 days sketches. So I'm just getting my layers figured out and I decided to take one of those papers, a uh, smaller scrap and make that a tag. So I have a tag over there 
um, I figured I would worry about the other tag. So here I am trying to decide, okay, should I put it down in the side? Because I feel like I'm covering too much of the mixed media up. And I'm like, eh, this one just doesn't work. This one just doesn't work. And then I just decide to scrap the mixed media backgrounds altogether. And I'm like, no, you know what? I'm just going to use one of the 12 by 12 papers. And I decide I'm going to create my own, like, way of like really bringing this together. I really like this paper and I think I've used it as a background before. Um, it's kind of one of my favorites. It's just so pretty and it, it kind of reminds me of like really old school linoleum flooring. And I'm pretty sure in somebody's house, a relative's, they had this color of linoleum flooring in their kitchen. I'm pretty sure. So here I'm just trying to decide if there's any other papers I'd rather use, but I, I really like this. And I really like that it's bringing out some of the greens. And like I said, his, I've said this before too, his favorite color is green. So if I can use green on the layout, I'm probably going to. And I also really like greens, greens and blues. I like all colors, but I do like a lot of greens and blues. So I decided that I'm going to do this. And then I'm like, all right, let's finish doing this whole center cluster thing and let's get something up in the top here. And I found this notebook paper edged um, piece of ephemera that I really liked. Um, so I'm going to stick that in there instead of a tag, which I enjoy quite a bit. So got that down. And now I've decided, okay, we need to do something about this background. I'll put some twine in here first. I grabbed orange, so it kind of ties in with the um, orange strip that's going down the center. I'm going to trim off the branding strip. And I decided what I want to do is just how I've seen, I've been really drawn to a lot of the layouts lately that are taking like a very colorful or very dark background. And they're either, either using gesso or acrylic paint or something and just almost creating like a photo mat. Or like a mat for where all their their cluster of embellishments are. So what I did is I went ahead and used um, Twisted Citron. And so you can kind of see that. You can't see it super well, but you can kind of see it. And I'm going to let it dry completely before I add now Broken China. And then I'm going to spritz. I'm going to kind of blend them together just, just to kind of soften it a little bit. And then I'm going to spritz it. And so some of the green kind of comes through... Um, obviously the blue more, but I really like that after I put my like cluster of photo and papers on, it really just kind of anchors it. It creates like a mat for, it's like a little tiny page inside your big page, if that makes sense. That's what it reminds me of. That's what it kind of is, it brings me a keen to. So I really love that. It worked out great. I'm going to use the alphas that came with the collection. And um, one of them, I think it was the Let's wander, maybe. But there's like notebook paper and then it's stamped, looks like it's stamped on it. I'm going to spell so brave and the so doesn't end up working. So I ended up just spelling brave. Um, <laughs> but this layout's pretty flat. And not all layouts have to have tons of dimension, but this one's pretty flat. And I actually do have the, uh, they gave us copies of the x-rays of him taking his teeth x-rays in this picture. That's what, it's, what he's doing. The year prior, he had to have sedation to get a bunch of stuff done. He was just, just young enough that it was hard to explain to him what was happening. He was freaking out. He was really nervous. It was breaking my heart. I was crying. He was crying. It didn't work. So we end up getting sedation, which worked way better. They were able to do x-rays. They sealed all his teeth, corrected anything that was wrong. He was actually born with like really bad enamel, like almost like non-existent. Like they said, it, at first we thought we did something wrong. And they're like, no, this is definitely something like he was born with like zero enamel on his teeth. It's very odd. So he had to fix like a ton of teeth at a time. And so he ended up having sedation. So from a year, like it was like a year and three months later, we had to go to the dentist and do um, a checkup. And we had done a couple checkups and he did great. And just slowly he got better and better at it. And this one, he was so brave. He did his x-rays. His teeth are great. He's brushing really well. The seals are holding up. You know, now he's starting to lose teeth. But it was fun because this x-ray showed us where um, his first loose tooth was. So that was cool. So they gave us copies of his x-rays. And so I'm going to tuck them in actually in a pocket. I think I'm going to create on the back of the page. And then I'll probably put a little tab at the top. Um, I'm not going to show you that. I haven't done that yet. I just found the x-rays while I was doing this because um, I have them set aside. So I'll probably do that. 
But now I'm just playing through um, with some of the ephemera and the chipboard. I end up adding quite a bit of chipboard pieces because that I have a lot of it of, from both the collections. The one collection I got an oops, like the one side was completely misprinted. So the company American Crafts actually sent me a free one. So if you ever find that you get one where it's like shifted and everything gets misprinted. I had so many things on the one side where it's like they were not usable. Like half the design was off. Um, so I just contacted them and then I just sent them pictures and then they sent me a new one. So i um, just journaling about his braveness and that is it. So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out everybody else who's playing down below. I really appreciate y'all. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And those of you who have subscribed, I love you. Thank you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.